Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have got a very interesting finding. A new image from the surface of planet Mars that would look to show an unidentified crashed object partially dug into the Martian dirt. So the image in question here, uh, here is the full zoomed out view of this and I'll put the link to this down in the video description. You guys can go and check it out. So here we are and the object in question you will find down here at the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom in on this object. First thing you'll probably notice is that this object is definitely a three-dimensional structure. Uh, how do we know this? Well, we can see the edges protruding from it and we can see the shadow of the object being cast down on the surface below it. And to the right of the object, we have what looks like a, um, a sort of a skid mark. But we have this displacement of the soil, as if the object had careened across the surface. Another interesting thing to note is that this object is completely by itself. I mean, it's sitting in the middle of this vast desert. I mean, there's nothing else around it. So just the fact that it's there is strange, and it's obviously not your typical circular crater. And um, from what I can see, this object definitely has a, what almost looks like a heart shape to it. And it's uh, partially sticking out of the dirt here. And uh, on the top here, we have what looks like a dome, some sort of domed structure. Again, uh, three-dimensional casting shadows. And, you know, that's one of the main things we look at when determining whether something is actually a three-dimensional object because the sunlight, reflections, the shadows, those are all very telling. Uh, here is an image overlay that was created by another UFO research channel called UFOVNI2012 uh, before being damaged, before being partially buried here. Some are saying this is a crashed or landed a UFO, possibly an ancient ruin of some sort, a base um, where we have this domed top here, which is actually a possible entrance way down into this structure. Um, either way, it definitely sticks out. It's an interesting structure sitting in the middle of this empty Martian desert here. And it's certainly not the first time that we have found similar objects, structures, UFOs, crash sites on Mars. In fact, we have a multitude of visual evidence pointing to these structures being scattered all over the planet. And so we are going to go through some of the best findings on the planet Mars of these anomalous structures, whether it be crash sites, UFOs, artificial looking structures, you name it, we are going to show you the best that we have. And by the end, hopefully you'll be able to make up your mind and see a pattern here. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll just go through these images one by one, just kind of giving a brief description of each. So because this new image here is sort of being deemed uh, what looks like some sort of crash site, we'll go ahead and start with some other intriguing crash sites on the planet Mars, starting with this one here. This is a very infamous image. Here we see what can only be described as a crash site in the truest sense of the word. We have this large carved out path here dug into the soil at the end of which we have a very clear, clear as day, circular saucer shaped UFO dug into the Martian dirt, the front end of which is completely covered as you would expect it to be uh, in a crash like this. And in terms of crash sites and, you know, what we've seen on Earth and all the times you think back to seeing, you know, a crash site anywhere, this is basically what it looks like. And whatever this object is, it has some force to it because you can see just how long this dugout path is stretching back across the terrain. Uh, if not that, some sort of object that is possibly mining the surface of Mars, digging into the soil for another unknown reason, but an amazing finding. Here we have another one of these sort of perfect carved out paths that you can see is very similar to the one we just showed you. However, when you attempt to find the object that created this path, uh, there is none to be found. So what some have said is that whatever created this, if it was some sort of crashed aircraft, that obviously it was repaired or undamaged and was able to leave the area. And again, another very uniformly created dugout indentation. This is a very interesting image, and we have a few things going on here. However, I want you to train your attention uh, to where we have this circular object, once again, that looks to be 
uh, partially buried or dug into the surface. Um, you know, it, it's interesting because as we go through these images, you will definitely start to see a pattern. Um, a lot of structures that have been found on Mars um, are partially buried or I guess you could say camouflaged into the surface. Um, so many of these aren't necessarily crash sites. And if they are, I'm sure many of you are asking yourselves, why in fact are there so many crash sites? You would think that an advanced extraterrestrial race would know how to fly their aircraft without crashing every five minutes. So many of these objects may not actually be crash sites, but may only look like that when you're observing them in these satellite images. On the other hand, we have many times spoken about the evidence that points to what appears to be a past war that occurred on Mars. And we've talked about this in past videos uh, where we have found in many cases what looks like ancient ruins. So if there was some sort of war, then it would definitely be understandable that you would have crashed aircraft or damaged aircraft. Uh, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So let's go to our next photograph here. Uh, another one of my favorites originally discovered by Richard Hoagland of a massive egg-shaped UFO sitting on the edge of a cliff. Uh, here is the original image. I will put the link to this down in the video description. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. And you'll notice just on the edge of this cliff, uh, we have a very uh, reflective three-dimensional saucer-shaped structure. The sun is reflecting off of one side of it. The other side is in shadow. Um, definitely a domed structure of some sort. Uh, as I said, one of my favorites. Uh, and again, it goes back to it, it may not be an aircraft. It may be. But with the severe weather on Mars, dust storms, what have you, uh, it would be perfectly rational to think that many of these craft would be covered in Martian dust, especially if these installations have been there for any extended period of time. So, speaking of domed objects, here's another favorite of ours, another reflective black domed object, again on the edge of a cliff, that looks to be, uh, it definitely looks to be buried or situated very securely down into the soil. We can see some soil displacement where again we see this sort of reflective metallic top. We see the sunlight reflecting off of it. Here's the same image with a little bit more enhancement to bring out the detail of the structure. And if you'll notice on the left here we have what looks like a, a porthole, a window, or some sort of entrance that very well may lead underground. Uh, we spoke earlier about these underground tunneling systems. Uh, you're seeing those here where we have these glass tubes that would seem to stretch, wrap, uh, move through cracks that have been exposed. And in some of these photographs, we can actually see a metallic circular object moving through the tunnel. You're seeing that image here. And you can uh, clearly see this metallic orb, again, reflecting sunlight. So it's highly reflective material, whatever it is, and it does look metallic. So uh, moving on, here we have a very uh, anomalous structure found sitting inside of a crater. It definitely does not look like it belongs. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, notice it has this sort of a triangular shape to it. It would seem to be raised up off the ground, and just from the look at it, I, I just don't understand how this structure, if it was natural, came about. So it's very suspicious to me. Now, going back to the surface of Mars, here we have a very infamous image of uh, a light source uh, that was captured a couple years back. Uh, we'll go ahead and zoom in here, where we had this uh, very bright white light that was seen coming up from the surface, captured by the Mars rover, to this day still unexplained. NASA has no idea what it is, uh, is not even attempting to tell us or give us a good excuse as to what this is. Here we have what has been called the Disney World Dome, uh, due to its resemblance to the silver dome that you'll find at Epcot Center, where here we can see it's perfectly situated within this crater. Again, partially buried. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison uh, where we're looking at the uh, Scott South Polar Station where we have, um, a, you know, a man-made object here on Earth. And look how similar, almost identical. Here you're seeing a three-dimensional view. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful piece of evidence. Here we have another, uh, what looks like a, a damaged uh, saucer or 
triangular shaped craft partially dug into the surface this one's a strange one uh, due to the perspective um, our eyes might be playing some tricks on us here but uh, nonetheless this has been featured before and definitely doesn't look like something natural uh, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Here is yet another saucer shaped craft again sitting by its lonesome in the middle of the Martian desert found on Google Mars Let's go ahead and zoom in here and like with most saucers. We have the outer saucer. We have a domed center uh, And we see what looks like a shadow behind it and some disturbance on the soil here we have yet again another very similar saucer to the uh, one that we just showed you uh, once again sitting by itself no other objects even remotely similar to this you know around it that's another dead giveaway and uh, we can see this pronounced three-dimensional saucer with this dome on the top and this elongated shadow being cast by the object on the surface here we have yet again another favorite um, probably one of the most clearest uh, that I've seen of one of these saucers again sitting on a cliffside. So even though I'm calling these saucers, uh, these very well may be buildings of some sort that are simply in a domed or saucer shape. Uh, where again we have this circular metallic saucer shape with what look like these long rectangular black windows wrapping around the rim. Here is an enhanced version where we've colored in the terrain, uh, leaving the object here in black and white just to give you a better idea. And again, we notice sunlight reflecting off of this rim. Um, it, you know, it, it's a great indication that this object is metallic in nature. Here we have another rover image of um, another just unknown anomalous object sitting on the surface. This one uh, could be a rock, uh, although due to the uniform shape of it, I definitely thought it was worth a look here. We'll go ahead and zoom in. Here we have uh, uh, some more UFOs that were captured flying over Mars. Uh, so not only do we have objects on the surface, but many instances where we have found these saucer shaped, um, and not just saucers, but triangular, cigar, what have you flying over the surface sitting in the background almost uh, as if they are watching the rover as it moves across their planet here we have um you know a very clear saucer shape here we'll go ahead and zoom in um again we have a, a long cylindrical center here we have a dome on the bottom and a dome on the top so you know classic saucer shape here we have yet another craft um, similar in shape but this time white in color possibly due to the sun reflecting off of it we have found evidence of objects that have been moving around on mars uh, objects that do not belong to us uh, here is one of those very pictures where we see multiple tracks being made by something across the surface now these tracks are actually very far away so this image was taken from a very high altitude looking way down into a valley and we see this first set of tracks that almost look like vehicle tracks stretching across and then we have another track curving up with uh, an object at the end of it. Here is an enhanced version of the same image just to give us some more detail. And if you'll notice here to the right where we have circled, um, we have what may be the object that has created this main pair of tracks here. Uh, here we have a, a very mysterious image uh, that was found recently of what looks like an object that is self-illuminating itself or illuminating the surface, almost as if it's shining a light onto the Martian surface. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And uh, again, like many of these images, we have a barren empty Martian desert nothing around and then we'll have another one of these artificial looking objects sticking out like a sore thumb um, that, that definitely do not look to belong and uh, this object is it's definitely much harder to make out uh, but it does have a very strange artificial looking shape to it and again look at the light coming from this object shining down on the surface here and is only coming from this UFO here so we have shown you some of the best pieces of photographic evidence today which uh, prove very easily that Mars is not simply the red dead planet that NASA would have us believe. There is a lot of activity happening on Mars and you know why is it do you think that NASA and every other space agency on Earth is so interested in this planet and why they are constantly sending more rovers, more probes, more satellites, more everything 
It's because they know that this stuff is there. They have seen it. They've had aircraft that have been lost after having been knocked out by something that is above Mars. They have taken pictures of these elongated shadows being cast down on the surface like the one you're seeing here, which then begs the question, what is casting such a large shadow? What is flying above the surface? And so you have NASA spending billions of dollars to get us to Mars, and now we are going to be sending humans very, very soon. So we have this interesting new finding today. Hopefully this list of evidence that we've compiled has helped you to expand your view and outlook on the red planet. And you know, there's a sea of evidence out there that we haven't shown you today uh, that is readily available and can be found online. And we will do future videos on this. So let me know what you guys think about this new finding and let me know what your theory is as to what happened on Mars and what these objects are. And before we end today's video, I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I will be going out of town tomorrow, so I will not be able to post any new videos for the next two or three days. However, I may go back and find some of my favorite older Secure Team videos and re-upload them during my absence. So if you're new to the channel, this may be the first time that you actually see them. So just be sure that you're subscribed to the channel and be sure to turn on notifications. That way you'll know when we have posted a new video. All right, so thanks everyone for stopping by. Have a safe holiday, especially if you're traveling like I am, and I will see you back with much more very soon.